1970s come alive Through this memory box we've known With country tunes and vintage scenes We'll take you back in time To a simpler place where love and melodies intertwine I heard that someone tried to open another restaurant here a few years ago, he said, looking around the empty space. I guess they were hoping to bring back the magic of this place. But it didn't work out. Back in 1958, there was definitely magic at this spot on South Bluff Street. That's when Carney and his brother, Dan, opened a pizza parlor that eventually grew into Pizza Hut Inc., the biggest pizza restaurant chain in the country. But things change. After experiencing rapid growth, Pizza Hut is now heading in a new direction. If the stockholders of the Wichita-based pizza firm approve a merger agreement on Monday, Pizza Hut will become part of PepsiCo Incorporated. Carney is confident that the merger will be approved. Even though the 39-year-old Wichita man, who left college to start Pizza Hut, will lose some freedom, he will be financially rewarded. His shares of Pizza Hut common stock will be converted into PepsiCo stock worth about $15 million. He will also join the PepsiCo board of directors and remain president of Pizza Hut. So we're not closing the book, we're just beginning another chapter. A new chapter, as far as I'm concerned. I fully intend for Pizza Hut to be the fastest growing subsidiary in PepsiCo. I fully intend for the food service division, if we perform, not only to be the fastest growing division, but to probably be the largest division in PepsiCo. So my focus is out there. While financial need often drives companies to merge, that's not the case with Pizza Hut. The firm's growth rate is on track to reach Carney's goal of $1 billion in sales by the early 1980s. Pizza Hut is opening a new restaurant on average every day. In the late 1960s, Pizza Hut acquired other specialty operations, but faced significant losses and eventually sold them. A year ago, Carney and other board members decided that instead of trying to acquire other food firms, Pizza Hut should join a larger company. Dan Carney, who stepped back from active participation in Pizza Hut management five years ago, will also become a major PepsiCo stockholder with common stock worth about $11 million if the merger goes through. But brother Frank plans to stay active. I've got to perform or I don't get anywhere but out, he said. Meanwhile, the old brick structure on Bluff Street, just five miles west of the new $10 million Pizza Hut headquarters, sits empty, waiting for a new tenant. The PR materials feature Rich Little, basketball teams, and an alternate version of the company logo. Currently, there are 47 Pizza Hut restaurants operating in various countries including Mexico, Canada, Costa Rica, Australia, West Germany, and England. Six more are under construction and two others are in the lease signing stage. Half of these restaurants are owned by the company and the other half are franchised units. Pizza Hut has received inquiries for franchising from many countries around the world. A joint venture between Pizza Hut Incorporated and Sumitomo Shoji Kaisha, 
Limited has led to the formation of Pizza Hut Japan, Limited, which is expected to open its first restaurant in fiscal 1974. Australia and Canada are leading in Pizza Hut activity, both in the number of operating units and in total sales volume. The pizza served in these international restaurants is the same as the one served in the USA, thin crust, spicy sauce, mild cheese, and lots of toppings. The most noticeable difference in the product is its presentation, especially in Germany. To match the expected dining atmosphere, the Pizza Hut menu often includes a full wine list. The operations manual has been translated into German, Spanish, and will soon be translated into Japanese. Pizza Hut International provides management personnel to assist in each country, but all employees are hired from the local community. At Pizza Hut restaurants in the 1970s, you could enjoy a variety of delicious dishes, from cavatini oven-baked pasta to thin, and crispy or thick, and chewy pizza. It was the perfect place to satisfy the appetites of the whole family. Pizza Hut's quick carry-out service ensures that customers can enjoy high-quality, delicious food even with their busy schedules. Our new advertising theme, There Are A Lot Of Good Things Under Our Roof, reflects the wide variety of delicious food options we offer to our customers as our menu continues to grow. In the early fall, we introduced our thick and chewy pizza, which quickly became a hit and accounted for about 20% of our total restaurant sales by the end of fiscal 1976.